So hello guys and welcome to the channel and today we are talking about installation of MySQL on your laptop or a PC. So here I have a version 5.5.45 and it is a 32 bit installation and we will be installing it on a 64 bit Windows 10 uh, Pro version. So I'll guide you through the installation process, double click the installation, click next accept the agreement click next and here we will not be talking about any of these options but just do a complete installation there are uh, options to customize uh, the installation at a specific folder or a specific uh, place with some uh, options removed or uh, uh, extra added uh, this will be for the advanced users only and we are going on a complete installation click on complete and then click installation it might take a few seconds to install so you can see the installation is going on the first phase of installation is finished now we will be asked to configure mysql instance with using this configuration wizard just so just click finish Okay, once the wizard has come, there are a few configurations that you have to keep in mind so that we can in get the installation perfect. Click next. We will be going with the detail uh, installation only. We are not doing anything here. Click next. We are going to use as a developer machine, not as a server or a dedicated machine. So just leave it as it is. Then it is asking for what type of database you're going to use. We are going to stick on to multi-functional database. Click next. Installation path. I'm not changing anything right now. Why? Because the, the installation path uh, C is comfortable with me. If you want, you can change the path according to your requirements. Click next. Now it's asking for what type, uh, you know, a number of uh, connections you require. Now we are going sticking on to uh, decision support DSS or OLAP. Click just next then they're asking for you know enable tcp ip the port number is always 3306 if there is any application that is priorly installed on this specific port you may click on the drop down list and change to 3307 or 3308 or 09 according to your wish do click the add firewall exception so some systems might uh, create uh, issues if we do not check this option you click next asking for the character set of your mysql so i am going forward with uh, the standard character set click next window installation service i am giving the service as uh, mysql 51 as the path i'm giving next i'm giving the password here okay and just click next and then we execute it now this execution part will give you um, uh, the complex configuration and then it will start the service as well as uh, it will apply the security uh, settings now uh, i will do it and i'll show you once it is done your installation is complete and you can start using your uh, mysql uh, server I have already installed the same inside my system that's why it is showing some error right now what you have to do is that once you are done with it you can just click ok and finish it off and then if you go to the start menu you can simply search for uh, my sql client which is already been installed you can click on it and then type the password and then you can connect to it i hope this video has been helpful for you thanks for watching my channel share like and subscribe